Hi again everyone, Tony of Doka here. Uh, we move on to phase four of the uh, Gen 3 complete build that I'm uh, showing you, uh, my way. And uh, this particular stage is following up from phase three, which was the, the bull diff. And uh, now we're gonna build a gear diff. So just to quickly repeat something, um, uh, we're going to use a nice clean cloth and we can show that on our build area um, because clean cloth is, is always important when you're building differentials uh, of anything that shouldn't be contaminated with any sort of greases or, or anything like that. So, uh, uh, you know, ideally you want sort of fairly clean hands. Again, no oils and stuff like that all over them. You're going to get plenty of that going on in a minute so um uh, here we are um just want to just quickly uh point out let's go to to this camera um this has been uh this has been cleaned inside so the alloy part of this has been cleaned likewise for the other half likewise for the polished milled out sort of uh, uh, shiny bit of the out drives i don't bother cleaning this uh, this 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 area here um, i find a little bit of oil in there will only just help the cause of wear um, and all the gears guys so uh, all the gears have been uh, cleaned as well um, all been with motor cleaner as have the pins um, so it's all clean um, uh, because obviously through machining you don't want them to be contaminated with any sort of foreign oils or, or whatever they use to 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 to, to make the product um, so the the first thing is 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 very simple we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of greasing of the o-rings etc and um, uh, there's various greases on the market um, this is uh, the, uh, the 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 rude bits grease um, you can see it there it's it's a new product this is a, obviously a larger pot because I use it all the time um, it's it's very very good and I just want to quickly show you look it's not a lot on my hands but I will pick up the o-ring and my hands will be smothered with it and I just basically now bearing in mind that these o-rings are pre-oiled anyway right uh, but uh, from my standpoint, I want a, I want a nice bit of lubrication going on on that O-ring. There you go. It's not, you know, it's not not huge. Um, and again, if you just see, I mean, look, it's not a lot. So you can imagine how long that grease is going to last you. I put it on my fingers, look, and then I, I basically just rub this lovely o-ring type gasket that serpent do all around as you can see i hope this uh close-up cam zoom cam or whatever we've called it is sort of working for you I'm, I'm hoping so you can see a little bit closer in what's going on so they're lubricated the only other thing i'm going to lubricate is the um the out drives only on the shiny part so just quickly around that shiny part there that's where the o-ring is going to be running so uh let's see if i can just bring that into focus there you go just just a little bit of of grease around there um and i'll sit that that way so it doesn't go all over the towel again just a fraction on this one lubrication all in there you can see it's just on my fingers i mean it, it, if you see it's not a not a massive amount the whole idea though is is that every part of that is now lubricated so just clean the hands off bear with me while i just reach over for a, another rag and um here we are just clean my hands bear with me a sec and now we basically start the build now the build is um it's very easy. I mean, a gear diff is very easy. The serpent one is even easier than any of the others, to be very fair. But uh, if I just quickly go over to the to this cam here, I just want to sort of show you something. I'm hoping that I'm going to 
be able to zoom in nicely. This is obviously the, the center drive gear. Um, in here, um, sorry, I should possibly, well, maybe that one, that's the one I should be looking at. Um, in there, you can see that's where the pin is going to sit. So there's a, you know, you can see there it can't drop out because uh, of the way that it's designed. So this is the way that the, uh, that it's going to sit. And as we sort of fill it up with oil and everything else, so we will put that in that fashion. And, and I'll tell you why, because there's a reason. There are bigger holes, sorry, it, it, it's a bigger bore hole on this side than it is that side. I hope if I just turn that round very quickly, you can see that. So this side compared to this side, you can see it's a bigger bore of a hole for the little studs to go through. So uh, we make sure that that's the right way round. We then, <coughs> excuse me, we then just look at the differences between these two halves and uh, you can see this one here is to take the uh, the screws and this one here is uh, is molded in a way to take the studs as you can see there's a little square for the stud to to pop in no with no further ado i don't know why i always do this first and uh, <laughs> it's sort of i i wonder why i do it first because by by rights, this this isn't the first job that should be done, but it's just a habit of mine. So I I just put the the studs in here, and I think that that's I possibly do that because I've got clean hands. I haven't touched any oils at this stage. I haven't touched the O-rings that are greased up, and and possibly that's you know mentally my uh, my mind is saying get those studs into place. So here we are. So all four studs all in place and if I just turn them around like so you can see they're going to drop they're going to drop into into that gear like so right so that's that's going to be um, actually like so and then we're going to turn around um, so that's the uh, that's 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 the studs sort of in situ um, we I'll stay with this this view because um, uh, well, well, although I've done that, and, and like I said, I don't know why I do that, because now I've got to turn it upside down to actually work on it. Um, so let's just do that. I'm going to drop an O-ring in there, in the, in the middle of it, like so. Yeah, so that's straightforward. I'm going to grab an outdrive. I'm going to put it through the O-ring and make sure that the, uh, the O-ring stays in place. I have to... I have to say at this stage, normally these studs are very, very, uh, very tight in the, um, uh, in the in the casing. They don't normally drop out. So, and the only reason I say that is because I've just had one drop out. So that's possibly why I do do that first. But nevertheless, um, so we've got a little slot there. And the slot, um, if I can just show you, sort of accommodates accommodates the pin yeah that's a better view accommodates the pin if we then grab the pin we can slide her home through the outdrive is a subject obviously you've got it lined up nicely and then just push her halfway to to that kind of situation you can see it's more or less a 50 50. i'll show you what we're going to do in a sec with that so we're just going to put that to one side just here if that will stay if it doesn't it doesn't matter we'll put that stuff back on in a sec we we'll do the same with the other ones we get the o-ring put it in there get the outdrive put it through make sure the o-ring is seated nicely you can see it's seated very nicely in there we just sort of line up the holes with the two slots. So I, I'm not sure if you're going to ever see that though. Well, but let's see if we can catch it on camera. So the two holes, there you go. See the hole is lined up with the slot. Okay. So you then get your little pin. Bear in mind all of this stuff has been washed down. So it's ready. We just grab our little... 
pliers and gently drop her into place gently slide it across and look at that that was really easy no difficulty at all so at this stage what do we do now at this stage i i do something that mm, i don't know i don't know how many uh, experts professionals call them what you like do or what they don't um, but i will sit that over there and i'm going to just switch to the other camera so you can see what i'm doing um so i've sat it in that little tray there this one is probably the first one i need to do so i'm going to just hold this and just show you what i do actually let me just go back to this zoom cam maybe that will show us a little bit better so i'm just going to open up my my oil now the um the oil i'm using today which is the oil that i always use it's an aromax oil um 10k in the rear diff of a of an srx2 is a very neutral kind of setup um it will work more or less everywhere indoors outdoors go wherever you like it, it will work for you right so that's that's what we're going to use now you're wondering why well, i've got oil i'm not even at the stage of filling up anything um well i actually am um just make sure that that's central and i'm just going to look what i'm going to do Hopefully you could see what I'm doing here. Let me try and get it into, into some sort of view for you. I'm going to drop a fraction of oil onto here. Right, just a little bit, look, not, not too much. Right, so take that away. If I can get it in view of the camera, and I'm going to turn that round and move that oil so it goes all the way around the O-ring, and the pin is covered with oil. Look, so the pin... And the outer drive coming through the O-ring is all covered with oil. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. That's a better picture there. Right. Let me just move that slightly down like so. That might even get us to focus a little bit better. There you go. So it's all covered in oil. The, the reason for this is very simple. Because now I can take one of my... And one of my gears that that's obviously going to fit on here just make sure she's sort of squared up ish and i can sit that on there i can push her down and why because look what i can do now ready i can do this doesn't fall out now that's not the only reason the other reason is because by doing what I've just done, I guarantee myself that there is oil behind that crown gear, right? So that's what I've guaranteed. I've guaranteed there is oil behind that gear now. So we're going to move on. We, 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 we're not going to sort of be hesitating with this. We're going to get one of our gaskets. We'll sit it onto the, uh, onto the gear. And you can see how quickly this is falling together, really. Um, you don't need to be doing any heroics with this you just touch it into the groove because there is a groove there on the serpent gear diffs and that's probably why many drivers from other driving other cars want to use our gear diff there's no leaks in our gear diff or anything like that so the the, the you can see bearing in mind I've, I've oiled it like i showed you earlier on so that that's going to guarantee it's going to stay there so you can see that so that's it doesn't take a mathematician because we know that the oil is holding it or the grease is holding it and we're going to line up the uh the four studs with this gear and we're going to push them all through the gear the 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 o the uh, the gasket the o the i call it o-ring purely because they're normally round and there are no but the gasket is sealed everything so there it is that's 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 how it is and just to show that it has done that and is in place if you look into the um into the the the, the, the corners let me pick the right corner that you're looking at uh, it's this one isn't it so if you look around that area there you can see that dark area is actually the o-ring um sorry not the o-ring the uh, the gasket and you can see it sat nicely there it 
on that one as well so so you're looking at this area here you can see it's darker at the bottom because it sort of translucent the gear and you can see it's just all sitting down beautifully on there very happy with that how that's gone um uh, not that it goes any different but like you know that sometimes it, it, it can of course you know something becomes fiddly or uh, frustrating or, or, or whatever you want to call it sometimes these things happen um uh, so just to go a little bit further on i then get the uh the other half of this i just make sure it's straight i put a dab of uh, oil on it like so like i did on the other one not too much just a little drip okay and i wait for it just to settle down and i just turn it round make sure that it's all covered all the way around just like i did on the first one i can now whiz the out drive round with the pin I get my crown gear and I drop it on the top and that should locate on there nicely which it has and if I go to the zoom cam you can see there's a little bit of oil coming out through the middle you see that there you go and that is exactly what you're looking for right so that's that's really good happy with that and um, uh, so if we continue sit that there for a second because that's the last thing to go on um now um just put this gasket on on this side like we did on the one before so let's just uh sit it in place you don't have to be an expert to put this in apart from you don't want to be pushing it you don't want to be you know you just sort of just but you can see with the flat side of the with let me go to the zoom cam my apologies with the uh, with the flat side I just uh, make sure that it's nothing's proud because I don't want it to to be um, squashed and deformed in any way so long as it's sitting in the groove which it is and that little bit of grease is going to help it um, is going to help it stay pliable is going to help it um, and not drop out of there or anything um, so we now come towards the latter stages of, of, the, of the diff if you like um, and this is what we do so let me just get a good kind of angle to to show you here that doesn't look too bad ah, I quite like that if it stays in focus of course so I drop some oil in there now before I do anything else and the oil that I'm putting in here has to go all the way round you see that little gap that it hasn't filled yet just wait for it to touch all the sides just wait for it to come down you can see it trying to come down see it coming down the see it coming down the actual crown gear um, I could have put a fraction more and I probably will put a fraction more but look it's now that it's met everywhere you can see obviously it's, this is this is 10k um, like I said just now and you can see the whole bottom the whole bottom including the actual crown is covered what we've achieved by doing this in this fashion is we've now achieved um, that this particular diff is guaranteed that underneath the crown gear there is oil we know that the o-ring is greased it's ready that that's going to survive a long time um it's not going to be you know open to any other elements or anything like that um the 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 bottom of this diff is now got oil in it um and normally what i do and i say normally only because it's very difficult to show you I feel, let me just see if I can show this. I feel, maybe it's this side you want, I should be pointing. I feel halfway down there. See the, see the thickness of that there? Halfway is where I feel, exactly where that point is. Okay? So I need to put a little bit more in, and, and I will explain why I do it um, uh, to that level as I as I carry on building it 
so I'm just going to bring this here because that's a flat area and that means I can rest that flat like so I'm just going to drop a fraction more in there there you go that's probably all the diff oil we're going to require you gotta say what the hell is Tony Odoka doing Jesus well if you overfill a, di a diff it's probably worse in my opinion than um, than if you you know you're short um, so overfilling it will make it lock up and, and, and be absolutely horrid as far as I'm concerned so that's not what I do I don't want it overfilled I'm now just going to put two of these baby I don't know if you call them planet gears I suppose put these um, let me see if I can switch to that zoom cam yeah that shows you a little bit better so just to show you what I'm doing here is when I open up the gap between them you can see the uh, uh, you can see the flat side of the uh, you can see the flat side of the um, the actual center pin so I'm gonna literally I'm just going to drop one side in there once I've dropped one side in there let's see if I can twist this round like this and show you how I do it I just move that gear across she's sat in there beautifully I move the by doing that I get to touch that in the middle there put it nice and flat so she's ready for the next couple of gears that are going to go across it now also what, what is happening here is, is you have to understand although it was halfway the volume is now getting higher and higher because of course these gears are taking up volume aren't they so it's like so that drops in I let oh that I'm sorry I'm trying to show you on the thing I let that drop in so the gear drops in with it All right, let me just move that gear across and you could just see that that's already settling in its position so if I can just move that that way move that that way you can see it's now submerged in oil and just to make sure I'm going to just turn you know, everything's picking up on the oil so all that all that if you turn this quick by the way they would just rise up so don't you don't want to be turning it quick you just want to just you can see that all the gears are submerged now or they definitely all got oil but we're not quite finished because what we need to do and it's going to be very difficult for me to do it and show you but I'm going to show you on here what I need to do is behind the gear here right that area there I need to fill that with oil I need to do it to there I need to do it to here I need to do all four corners all four pins that needs to have oil so if you could just watch all I do is is, uh, is basically just lift a little bit of oil and just drop it in there now unfortunately as much as um, I'm normally quite spot on with my oil I'm a little bit short on this one so it's just going to be an absolute fraction more and it is literally a fraction more don't need to like I said the last thing you want to do is overfill a diff it's it's horrid to drive and 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 all sorts if you haven't experienced it or if you're wondering if your car's not right th have a little think about how much oil is in your diff that's 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 a little tip so we we make sure that there's oil behind a lot of people measure this um, I've never done it this is the this is the way that I do it works for me my, my my results are are good my car always feels great to be fair i very rarely you you won't see me come back to the pits and say oh my car's crap i don't do that uh, the, the the car's always good is always driver error i'm afraid so here we are that's um just wipe that scalpel down and I changed to a slightly bigger um, bigger probe make sure that's pushed in and while that's pushed in I turn the gears and just make sure they are free and they are 
and now that all the oil is circulating and I've filled every little part of it up I need to show you how much oil is in here now don't forget the crown gear over here so this that's going to take up some of the volume as well right so don't don't forget that um, let me see if you can see that it is literally just to the just to the top of this upper pin so the oil is just touching now you could just see see i picked up a bit of oil it is it's literally just touching the upper part of that pin no need to feel if i could show you on this gear no need to feel up to here because as soon as you put the crown gear on it's going to overfill it right so don't don't do that for gold's sake we're ready to rock and roll we're going to line it all up with the four screws and uh, we're just going to drop that on there like so and before we press her down we're going to make sure she's lined up and we're not only going to make sure she's lined up we're going to make sure that this has got an action to it and it has to be a smooth action it's beautiful i can't even feel any other gears or anything like that it's it's really good and that's what we're looking for so once that's all down and and ready to go we make sure that this is nice and tight like so oh wow now there you go that just proves that it happens to all of us right you see i was all if you excuse the wording all cocky how nice it was and i slipped and took it off so it doesn't really matter um, i'm just going to really just replace that um, i don't have to take anything apart because this is what you would no normally do on a rebuild so we set that back down so this is this is what happens it slipped out of my hands but that is quite important when you're putting it together to make sure you turn the diff before you start screwing it all tight because if you screw it all tight or all, all together that isn't that isn't good unless it all, all these planet gears were sitting right so now i'd need to just re a bit of oil has been lost of course i need to just make sure i'm at the right level and, and and you know in a strange way i'm quite glad that that happened actually um uh, because it shows that it can happen to anyone even myself and it you know i i said earlier on you know sometimes things do go wrong and and this is a live build this is not manipulated i'm not going to build 10 diffs and show you the best build um so uh, I, I'm, I'm i'm quite happy that that actually happened because i can go back to this now and i can show you that again i've got the oil where i want it and just to be sure i'm just going to make sure that that's pushed down exactly in the right place everything's turning around everything's lubricated take two so uh, we line that up and I'm looking through the holes through the holes to make sure that it's all lined up I press it together make sure that the gears are engaged and everything is good um, and uh, I think we're ready to rock and roll I think let me just line that up correctly Yeah. So we're gonna drop a screw into here, and while we do that, I just want to show you. I want to put my finger on the back of the stud uh, for the simple reason that by putting it on the back of the stud, the stud isn't gonna push away as I pull this up tight. So that's just gonna not even pinch. I always work on opposite ends, so this will be the other side. That will be as follows. So everything's nicely lined up, otherwise it wouldn't go in, as you can see. And I'll also show you in a sec what I'm looking for when I do this. Because if everything is not home, in other words, one of your seals is moved, one of your gears is not right, um, uh, something isn't quite correct I'll show you what what you're looking for to make sure that it, all of this is is correct sorry let me get, get some of this stuff out of the way for you apologies so 
we're just going to just if I can just show you we're just going to just pinch we'll go opposite pinch pinch and pinch just to double check yes it's not no no heroics on the tightening up or anything like that and we're now going to check the motion is beautiful absolutely spot on and what we're looking for what i look for is this and normally without looking at it myself if i've got it right i will just have the a blemish of oil on the screws and the screws will be flush with the uh, with the studding so let's let's try and get a close up of this see if we can uh, see what i'm what the hell i'm talking about so uh there you go that's the picture i'm looking for there's the uh, sorry you're probably looking at this one aren't you so if i just try and get really close there's the studding the stud the stud and the thread is flush totally flush across there and so is the so is the next one and look do you remember i said to you a little bit of oil look at the oil there watch look see the oil on the on the stud perfecto as far as i'm concerned that's exactly what i'm looking for so when i turn it this way and show you you can see that the oh god i don't know if i can zoom that in right but it's the stud if i do that maybe it might have better chance in the sense of catching my my finger as a focus but it, the stud but there you go the stud is absolutely flush the screw is not sat back or anything like that um and um yeah so that's how that's how I, I i i get to that stage um excuse me a second let me have a little tidy up i hate it when everything is all over the place so that's the oil out of the way that's the grease out of the way that's the uh, the o-ring uh, um, loop uh, that protects everything grab this old rag and just give that a little wipe and there's no need to remember no need to uh, pinch really hard or anything like that um 10k is the uh 10k is the uh, the oil in this car um and uh we now have a gear diff built doesn't take long we also have a ball diff um built didn't take too long either if you want to differentiate in the sense that if you use both in you know different conditions the ball diff has always got a blackout drive and the uh, the gear diff has got this special kind of hardened uh, you know kind of steel scenario that uh, serpent use on their cars so uh, um, black is ball this kind of coppery bronzy color bronzy color is probably the right cut you know that's how you differentiate so there we go so this car's got best of both worlds and then on the next build we're probably going to show you the uh well i'm going to show you the um uh the gearbox how it takes the differential uh and then we'll show you with the tower we can show you how quickly it comes in and out which is superb on the uh on the gen 3 um and we'll probably make it a slightly longer video and go into uh, showing you a little bit about the uh, the eccentric kind of pills um, and some people call them pills they call them all sorts that go into the 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 rear hangers of the car because you can do a multitude of things with them um, so until then good to have you on board don't forget apparently I've got to tell you every time you've got to like you've got to share you've got to subscribe you've got to this that and the other and we'll uh, We'll catch you on the next one. I look forward to it. Thank you, guys.